Hey, hey friends, I came up with a different way to pick an exercise to do. I've got some dice and I'm gonna roll the dice and depending on what it lands on will be the different exercise. I've got mountain climbers, push-ups or planks, frog jumps, ski jumps, high knees, and burpees. All right, we're gonna do a couple of these together. Let me roll my dice. I got a three. So a three, I'm gonna do some frog jumps. Everybody do 10 frog jumps with me. I'm gonna get down like a frog and explode up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's get my dice. Let's roll it again. Oh, I got a two push-ups. If you can't do a push-up, you can just hold a plank. I think I'm gonna hold a plank for 30 seconds. If you can do a push-up, add in some push-ups. All right, one more. Let's roll the dice, see what we get. A three. Frog jumps again, we're gonna give it another roll. One, oh, mountain climbers. Back into our plank position, and we're bringing our knees and driving them to our chest, mountain climbers. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. If you don't have dice, grab a piece of paper, write all the numbers, cut them up, you can put them in a cup, and then pick it out, and then you can choose your exercise. All right, great job, all stars. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be mostly sunny, high of 67 and low of 48. A beautiful day to go out. For lunch today, I am going to have some pasta salad with peppers and chicken and drizzled with Parmesan cheese with some tomatoes and olives. For dessert, I'm going to peel and cut this kiwi. And for drink, I'm going to have some iced tea. Good morning, artists. It's Miss Britton again. I bet you're wondering what I'm wearing. This is my new Mother's Day crown and bracelet. And if you notice, our mosaics that we did last week with paper towel or um, a napkin, if you can see, I added it to my crown and even a little pop right here and a little bit right there. So, I would like to show everybody how to make these today and maybe you can give them to your mom for Mother's Day or an aunt or a grandma or maybe you just want to keep it for yourself and wear it around the house. So let's get started. Okay, here are the supplies we're starting with. Pencil, scissors, and our paper towel roll or you can use a toilet paper roll. And then here is our egg carton. So let's put these all aside because we're going to start with our egg carton first. Okay, so you're going to open up your egg carton and in this part right here at the top we're going to pull off. We don't need that on the top. So you just gently rip it. It should come apart pretty easily just like this. And then you can just put it to the side. We won't need that. Also there's this little flap that we have. This flap, you don't need either. So you can pull it off just like you did the top. You can discard that as well. Now we have the egg carton. 
you can split it in half. So I folded it a little bit. And now you can tear it. It comes apart very easily. You can use both or you can just use one. We're going to start with one for right now. Now you see all these little holes where the eggs go in. We're going to separate them. So we're going to pull them apart into their own little sections. So this comes apart really easily too. You can see, you just move it around using your pinch fingers. So let's start pulling all of them off. Okay, we have separated all of them and now it's time to make the petals with four little tears all around your egg carton. So you just lightly pinch, pinch, and tear the egg carton all the way around until you get four petals. You don't want to go all the way through. You can see on the back that it's like a flower on both sides. So you're going to continue to do that, just small little tears until you have four of those petals. <laughs> finished making my flowers. I'm going to pick these up and set them aside because we're going to add another step to our project. We're going to need our paper towel roll now and we're going to make cuts with our paper towel so evenly. So how we're going to make them even is we're going to use our scissors and we're going to do a little cut. I don't know maybe about a half an inch, an inch and cut just so carefully with our scissors. And then I, my, my thumb's always on top with my scissors. I'm going to take my little uh, one inch piece and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to measure it out all the way across my paper towel so I can cut them as evenly as possible. <laughs> cut all the rolls and now it's time to cut them open. So I'm going to take my scissors, thumbs always on top remember, and just make a little cut and now they're open. See? I'm going to do that with the rest of my tubes. Alright, we are complete. Now it's time to add glue. You can use white Elmer's glue or you can use a glue stick. I prefer to use a glue stick for this part of the project, but feel free to use whatever you have available. We're also going to need our paper towel mosaic. This is time for the project you did last week to incorporate it. So first you're going to take the tape paper towel roll that you cut and you're going to use the glue stick and you're going to rub the glue gently all over the paper towel strip. And you want to make sure that you cover every piece of the paper towel strip. Also, your paper towel that you have is actually two pieces. So you can take one off and put one to the side because you're only going to need one. So now you're going to take your paper towel roll strip and you're going to Press it down, make sure you're glue side down onto the paper towel mosaic and press, press, press and rub. You're going to continue to do this until you fill all of the paper towel mosaic, making sure that you are really pressing down on that paper towel roll. filled up our paper towel mosaic cap on our glue. We can set that aside. We don't need that now. Now I'm pushing down a little bit. So it's time to use our scissors and we're going to cut out the strips off of the mosaic. But I'm pressing down a little bit just to make sure it's really good. So you want to make sure it's really tight and it's sticking. If you have parts that are coming off like I found, you might want to just take your glue stick and just press, press, press and add a little bit more so it stays a little bit better. Alright, I think we're about ready to go. We grab our scissors, we're going to cut out our strips, 
making sure that our thumb is always on top of our scissors. Now it's time to cut. So you're just going to cut the strips right out of the paper towel mosaic. Go ahead and take your time. You don't have to rush to get this done. And you just want to make sure that you are just gently cutting out your strips and continuing until you've got them all cut out. All right, I've got them all ready. I'm going to collect them because we will get back to this step later. And now it's time to put them aside and we can start on our flowers. And we are ready to start painting and doing all kinds of things with our flowers. I'm gonna show you one for example. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with one flower. You can choose to add details to the front or the back of your flower or both, it depends on what you like. I'm gonna give you a few options today. You could always use some crayon to decorate your flower. You could use Sharpie if that's what you have at home or you can even incorporate some kind of marker. I have Mr. Sketch today, but any marker should work. You can even use watercolor if that's what you have at home. And the other option is maybe you'd like to paint it. So if you have tempera paint or any kind of acrylic paint, you can do that. I'm gonna show you two today. I'm gonna to work with crayon and I'm gonna build on what Miss Wade was building on last week with some lines. Maybe you like to add some straight line or a wavy line to the petal. And being Miss Britton, I always need to add some good dots. So I like a good dot. And crayon seems to work really well on your flower. All right, let's check out the Sharpie. I, I know the Sharpie will work, so I'm just going to incorporate some more dots on that petal. I love a good dot. And then continue working on the lines on that first petal. And now I'm gonna move on to working with the Mr. Sketch in the paint, so please follow along. So I have my pieces for my headband. I'm going to use the hot glue to connect them. So just a little dot and then one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna connect all the pieces with just a little hot glue, counting to five and pressing until I make a one long strip. And this is going to be for my headband or my crown that we are making and then just press 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 and hopefully I hope this fits my head and it's long enough if not then I'll need to make a little bit more but it should be good for our little heads at school okay okay artists so now I have my crown started and I need to attach it so I'm going to put it around my head and feel all right, that looks about good. And so I'm going to take my hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, you can use regular Elmer's glue. It's just gonna take a little while and you need to let it rest. So I've got it, my hot glue, and I'm going to make a mark where I want it to be attached. See there? And now I'm going to put it together. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Pretty good. Perfect. All right, so now it's time for to attach my flowers for my crown. And I made all kinds of flowers you saw. I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, 
and violet. Did you realize what I just made? If you guessed a rainbow, you are correct. So I'm going to now attach them onto my crown for Mother's Day. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, artists, it's time to start our crown. You can use glue, it's gonna take a while, so you're gonna have to let it sit if you choose to use the Elmer's glue. You can also use the glue stick, but I would only use the glue stick when you're attaching the mosaic part with the tissue or with the napkin or the paper towel. You can also use tape if that's what you have and tape will work fine. But today I'm going to use the hot glue gun. And with the hot glue gun, you wanna have, um, you wanna have a parent present. So uh, even fourth and fifth grade, I showed you all how to use a hot glue gun this year and last year. You still need to have parent observation while you're doing that. So I'm gonna use the hot glue and let's get started. So I have my crown part that I put all my tissue paper mosaic on here or napkin mosaic or paper towel mosaic and I have all of my beautiful flowers and I did a rainbow theme for this this new crown so I'm gonna start with red and I'm going to put glue on the bottom of my flower so you all can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna glue on here. And I'm never touching that glue with my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take my crown and I'm going to press, I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got that part. What color is, comes after red on the rainbow? Oh, orange. So it's time for my orange flower. So I'm going to take my flower and gently squeeze out my hot glue and attach it to my crown. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna continue adding the rest of my rainbow. I have finished all of my flowers on my crown. So I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, Roy G. Biv, all the colors of the rainbow. All right, this crown looks awesome. I would love to see any image or any photo of the crowns that you've made in your house. Feel free to have one of your parents send me an email with the images and I would love to see them. All right, artists, happy art time and I hope you have a nice Peace out.